welcome back to my YouTube channel, Quirky Curl. So, how are you, you all doing in this lockdown period? Let me know by commenting down. So, today I'm back with some do it yourself DIY that you can do at your home uh, so that you will be busy a bit in this lockdown period as we all know we cannot go out to the market and buy stuffs to do um, DIYs right so I made all the DIYs with uh, materials available already at the home so that you don't have to step outside your home and buy the products um, let's get started and see what all the DIYs are there for you guys so for this DIY, we are going to make a um, bookmark with a tassel and this are the materials that you are going to need. Again, very minimalistic um, materials uh, because these are already available at your household, I guess. Uh, so we need wools and then a punching machine, um, a cutter, a scissor and this uh, cardboard piece or any cardboard piece or any material you can take of any dimension as uh, long you want your uh, tassel to be so i'm going to show you how to make it and of course a uh, bookmark so this is a hand uh, painted bookmark that i have made already for you guys you can use any color paper or any other print as your wish you can just paint just you know uh, bring up your creativity today i'm going to show a woolen tassel so let's see how to make it kind of print i'm going to choose this green colored wool so all you gotta do is take this cardboard sheet and the end of the thread I guess this much thickness is enough for me so for the last roundup you're just going to bring it from here and end up exactly here at the end the next thing we're gonna do is cut out this end cut out another piece of wool from here Try to insert it from here and tie it up so now what you're going to do is you're going to take the cutter and trim off this whole thing so yeah this whole thing is going to come out of the cardboard piece as you can see it looks it already looks so pretty next thing that we're going to do is cut out another piece out of the wool take the tassel just round it up over here and slowly tie it as you can see so this is what it looks like now next what you want to do is we're going to take our bookmark and punch a hole over here so we need this punching machine and pretty bookmark is ready need two other bookmarks like this print of the paper or the bookmark depends absolutely on you so i already had these you know printed papers so i've just cut it and yeah put the tassel They are they're really so pretty, you know. You can easily use them in your books, or you can also um, use uh, your own ideas. You can innovate the ideas and you know, just make them yours. In place of the tassels, you can also put some other 
trademark or anything you like or ribbons maybe as you can see it looks so pretty um so yeah these are uh, really easy to make at home and i hope you guys are going to make it and of course do let me know by tagging me in my instagram handle at the rate corky coal so these are the stuffs that we are going to need for our diy and this is a cute little planter that we are going to transform so i believe in uh, reusing the stuffs from household only i had this container in my kitchen and after it got empty i took it from my mom for you know uh, planting next we need is this scissor and fevicol and last is this ropes so these ropes are very much easily available in the house i guess that is why i have uh, you know thought of making this diy as you can see these are very minimal of the things that we need to you know make this diy uh, so let's get started So here's the end result. You can see how pretty it looks. So I hope you guys like the DIYs that I showed you and you can see how beautifully the transformation has taken place it has got a nice rough look as you can see and i really love it so last but not the least i have another diy for you guys but before that i have a backstory about it so it is that i broke my lampshade recently and due to this lockdown period i cannot go out and none of the stores are open so i asked my father to get me one he got me a study lamp from his college days that he used while studying so so I was really excited to give it a makeover. I have actually forgotten to make the DIY video of it but that's not an issue. Here it is. Ta-da! I'm going to tell you the whole uh, thing how I made it. So yeah, this was all rusty and red in color. So I thought why not transform it and here I painted it um, green acrylic and here is some silver acrylic paint and artificial flowers were already left out at my home so i thought why not use them in this piece and here it is you can see how pretty it looks it just looks like a sunflower i'm going to use it daily for my studies now on and it's so close to my heart it's really it's below and let me know that you have also converted some uh, different stuffs at your place as well so i'll be really happy to know know about it and that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching it till here please subscribe to my, my channel quirky coal and give it a big fat thumbs up share the video and let me know how you like it i love you guys toodles